Hey guys, Brody here. Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2019 and our series here at Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. Our no loan, our no mod, our no leasing challenge. So we're going to continue on with, um, say, culti plowing this field. And um, hopefully we can get this done, then we can head on over and um, windrow the grass over there, collect that, and um, start making some silage, hopefully. We're still waiting for our other fields to um, grow. They're both growing, so that's a good thing. Um, I've had a few people ask if we could skip things and time-lapse things and, and that sort of stuff. Um, fortunately, it's not something I'm going to be doing this series due to the fact that um, we're only doing this series once a week um, and also the other farming simulator series as well that I've got going. We're going to be doing once a week now. Um, I'm trying to focus uh, more on, I guess, my personal life outside of YouTube. Um, and reduce the amount of gaming I've been doing recently so um, I won't have enough time to do time lapses and um, cutting bits and pieces here and there but I'm going to do one episode per week of each three of these series 45 minutes roughly each episode and um, hopefully you guys are still going to stick around and enjoy it still um, understand the reasons behind it all but no doubt um you guys will. You guys have been pretty, um, pretty supportive. Uh, not just recently, but pretty much for a long bloody time. So it's been pretty good. Um, and I will say thank you to all you guys for your support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I did put a post up a couple of days ago now. Um, actually, maybe more than a couple of days ago now about me being at work for four days straight and only having one day off this week and having to minimise my recording and yeah, that um, the regular videos won't be out so you guys have been pretty you know as I said um, supportive of that and understand that sort of stuff so I know you guys will be understanding and supportive of these changes as well so I said we'll get um field here cultivated, culti ploughed, um, then we can look at seeding it as well, so we'll have to grab our seeder which I think is, is it down here still? I don't think, well, have we brought one yet? I think we did didn't we? Yes we did, so it should be, it should be here, somewhere, I'll we'll have to make sure before we go driving that far. Um, I need to change it back from miles per hour to kilometres per hour as well. I did do that change for a um, John Deere forestry build so I do need to change that back. So I'll line ourselves up this way then I can head on in and change it back to kilometres. Quick save as well over there. Um, so this map has had a few more updates. This is version 1.2 of running. Um, there's a current version of 1.4 and I have actually downloaded 1.3. The problem is every new update of the map you have to start a brand new save game and I don't want to do that so um, until the map creator can work out a way for us to be able to download the updated version of the map and not have to start a new game Looks like we'll be stuck at version 1.2, which is fine. Um, I think the only changes, the main change for version 1.4 was over near that dock there, Docklands area there, there was a, um, a compost place that we could sell compost to, but then we'd have to install a mod to be able to make compost to be able to sell it, so we can't do that anyway, but that's only version uh, update for version 1.4. I'm not sure what the update was for version 1.3. I think there was just like a few minor bug changes and stuff, but I haven't come across any bugs yet, so I'm really not um, worried about the bugs at the moment anyway. They've been pretty good. I think our um, 
rowing friend over there is doing its thing. So I'm thinking as well, I want to go with um, our, where are we, Fent Tractors. Because I haven't used a lot of Fent Tractors in the past and I feel like um, with these other guys that, you know, 492 horsepower, uh, 380, so plenty of horsepower on these guys, so we don't have to worry too much about horsepower side of things, and I haven't used Fent Tractors a great deal, so it'd be good to be able to use Fent Tractors to steer clear of um, just a regular case, John Deere and that other sort of stuff, go with something a little bit different. We have another three more rows here, and we should be um, good to go. Good to start seeding, I hope. So, as I said, each episode um, we could be around about the 45 minute mark now. So, hopefully, you guys are all cool with that. No doubt you guys will be, but I think for the video that's only coming out once a week now. Um, 45 minutes is probably a good time compared to like a 25 minute half an hour video every couple of days so I'm hoping it's gonna gonna continue to work um, but as I said um, in my channel update video I'm still going to continue to look at doing um, farm builds and that sort of stuff and just sort of upload them randomly I guess Whenever I, f whenever I get an idea to do a new farm, um, just sort of update it regularly and, and upload them when I can. But our John Deere silage farm uh, builds with the motocross track has gone crazy. It's got over 300,000 views and um, it bumped up my YouTube income quite dramatically. Um, and now that that video has sort of lost its momentum, our well, my YouTube income has dropped dramatically again so um, while this isn't a thing that I do <coughs> I'm sorry guys well this thing isn't um, well, YouTube isn't something I do for the money or it's a full time job it does come in handy to be able to put back into the channel for like new games um, like my new headset that I'm using at the moment so everything, I, well, most of the stuff I make goes back into the channel. Obviously, some of the money that I make will go to personal stuff, and especially doing fun things to my daughter and spoiling her rotten, as always. But, but yeah, I think I'm going to do a few more um, John Deere builds because they seem to be the most the most viewed videos of John Deere stuff. Because I know there's a lot of John Deere fans out there, so sort of seem to be the most viewed stuff so I'm going to do some more John D builds um, and try and get the views up again a little bit you know get the YouTube income up again and um, have a little bit more money to play with as far as bringing stuff back to the channel and um, yeah sort of I thought I was going to start like that then so um, being, being able to bring new games to the channel, that sort of stuff. Um, I have been getting a few a few games. Where's that cedar? Where did we put it? Don't tell me it's there. That is. Oh, um, I've been getting a few games sent to me um, for free through um, Keymailer. I've also um, requested a few games through Keymailer that um, have been accepted and sent to me, and as you guys have probably already seen on the channel, um, like these are brothers, um, I requested a copy of that and it got sent through. Um, Fantasy Blacksmith, I requested a copy of that and that got sent through as well, so that was pretty good. Um, a few other games I've requested that I haven't got a response to yet. Actually, I don't know if I, I don't know if I get a response if they don't approve it. Obviously, if they do approve it, I get a response because then I get sent through a code. So I'm hoping to um, be able to pick up some more games through Keymailer and 
especially the indie games, and uh, bring that sort of stuff to you guys, like first looks and that sort of stuff, some, some new fun games, but another series is going to come back to the channel, um, will be House Flipper with the Garden DLC, that was um, probably my most successful series behind FS19, uh, that did bring a lot of a lot of subscribers to the channel, that sort of stuff, and did perform really, really well, originally when I was doing uh, beta videos of House Flipper, and bringing out videos after the full release, so Certainly going to get back into it now the Garden DLC is there. I haven't played it for quite some time though, so... I don't know how I'm going to go. I'm going to have to get used to all the buttons. And how things work and that sort of stuff. And, and yeah, hopefully... Bring back some cool um, interior designs and hopefully garden designs as well. Um, one thing I will say is I have requested it through Keymail, I haven't got a response yet, but I have seen a few, let's say, bigger YouTubers um, release videos on it already, which has been interesting to say the least. Um, I'm not sure how Playweight pick the people that they send codes to, but some of these bigger YouTubers that have got the codes early that are sort of showcasing how Slip Up Garden DLC to their subscribers really don't portray it to be a good game, in my opinion. They sort of, you know, poke fun at it and do a lot of stupid stuff uh, compared to actually, you know, doing things properly. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know how they pick and choose, but I guess, um, I guess we'll never know, I suppose. But I'm hoping to um, get a free copy. Uh, the game will be out before this is released to you guys, so hoping to get a free copy from Playway. If I don't, I will still purchase the game anyway, so it'll still be coming to the channel. But obviously, if I can get it for free, it'll be a lot better than actually having to pay for it. I might slow the time down again here now that we're seeding. I did bump it up a little bit, hoping that we would... Um, get that other field ready to harvest, but it doesn't seem to be going. I guess I could probably speed it right up. And, um, just wait for it to be ready to go, because it's, I think it's the next stage, it'll be ready to go. At least that way we can sort of set our harvester up ready to, to unlock, to harvest that field, and this might grow a little bit funny because the time's gone so quick, but we'll make it work, I think. Uh, make sure it's on fast, yep. I think I missed a bit there. But, um, yeah, so that's sort of where we are at the moment with the channel and how things are going and hopefully the future of the channel. Certainly not going to give up on um, YouTube at all. Probably ever, hopefully. Uh, but the other thing that you guys probably have seen, um, Stocky Wizard was supposed to be uh, doing some things on the channel, doing some uploads and that sort of stuff for some different content, but he hasn't done it as yet. Um, I've, I have contacted him and sort of said, you know, you've got some things coming. He's like, yep, yep, I'm working on it, like, as we speak blah 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 but um, yeah it's been several weeks now since we discussed it and he still hasn't uploaded anything um, so I have no idea if it is actually going to happen or not um, but I'm not going to chase him um, I'll let him do his own thing if he wants to do it the offer's still there for him to be able to upload to the channel but he has he probably has the same sort of issues I have you know he works in the same industry I work in, so he does long shifts, 12 and a half hour shifts, days, nights, you know, a couple of days on, a couple of days off, family, and all that other sort of stuff, so it's not just a matter of it being our only job, we've both got full-time jobs and, and have other stuff as well that sort of gets in the way of gaming, but 
looking over it any other way. So I'm hoping he still he will still upload, but I'm not sure to be honest. Oh, there we go. So that's done. So what I'll do is um, let's set up a course for here um, with 27. I don't know which. Let's go south west. Go uh, east. Okay. Um, yeah, generate field course. Let's make sure. So which way is that? Let's go on that way. Let's just run through, and then we can go to the other end and set him up again. Um, I don't know if this resets every time we reset ourselves back to the shop. Can't turn. Um, first speed. Yep, yeah, it's certainly three meters. Done. Let's go nearest waypoint. Uh, what do I feel? 27. Let's save. We'll go field. 27. Seeding three, oh, three meters, three meters. Guess if we lift the cedar and stuff up, I thought I already pressed that, but maybe not. All right, so we'll set this guy up ready to go. All right, off he goes. Is our other guy going? Still got a little bit to do yet. Um, before we start this harvest, let's have a look at um, where are we? wind rowers because we need to get some silage sorted. So that's only 4.6 meters, which isn't really worth it. That's 8.5, 9.3. I think um, we'll certainly go with this guy. I think it's be way to go I'd say 23 grand for that so we've got 123 left um, as I said I wanted to put in um, a few sheds over here too so I think can we, we could probably only get one shed in the middle there but uh, four so in the center of here this little I think that's right, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, in the center of this line here somewhere. There we go, so that'll be one shed, so a couple of tractors, um, harvester, some implements and stuff, but I want to put some sheds along here too, which I think I was going to do a couple of these big guys, won't we, but they are quite expensive. Um, now I think these guys, so can we get that, oh, of course we can't, it's been good to get that sort of in the right spot here somewhere. Do we need two right now? I don't think so. We don't need two right now, so let's not buy two right now. Alright, so let's um, get our harvest underway, of course. Make sure there's no vehicles behind us. Alright, let's do a little bit of in cap stuff. So, canola. Make sure we're at around about 90 degrees, as you can see. Use the mouse down here, 90 degrees. Then when we turn around, we'll come back at 270. That's the way you sort of do your manual GPS. You know you're not um, sort of going 92 degrees and not getting the right run. Keeping it about 90 degrees, make sure you're always heading straight. Obviously, we don't get any straw 
out of this. It's just straight canola. There's no straw left behind, which is okay. Our other field down there is growing, which I think... I don't know what it was now. I think it might have been soybeans or something down the bottom there. Right, let's set this guy back up. Back this way, as I said, line yourselves up to 70 degrees, depending which way you're going, of course. Uh, was it soybean? No, barley. Yeah, it's barley. Okay, it's only a little field, but so we'll, we'll get a little bit more straw out of that field too, which will come in handy for our uh, mixed ration and stuff later on once we start bringing dairy cows into the equation, which it's another thing, quite expensive, 100,000, 300,000, so it's going to take a little bit of time for us to get there, but we will, hopefully, get to that stage where we can start um, bringing some cows in and producing some milk. Alright, we'll go this way, so this time we'll go at 180 degrees. Way I can sort of just get ourselves away from that road a little bit so we're not turning around on the road. I do apologise, I've been I've been fine the last few days of work without um without, without sniffling or anything and now as soon as I go to record I start sniffling again so I don't know what it is. What's going on with this header either? It's weird. How are you going? You're still going. So once we get um, that area fully mowed, we'll be able to go back and collect, start collecting the grass, which will be good. We'll be able to start making silage and um, if we run it out the right way we should be able to pick it straight back up again with the loading wagon but I think we did see last episode where are we silage somewhere here Taylor's bales which is I think miles away so I might need to um, time lapse or cut that because that's going to be a fairly lengthy couple of runs taking um, the silage down there and you guys probably don't want to see all that and I'll try try my best to do that off camera um, unless we can sort of set up which we might be able to set up course play to be able to do that but I don't know if course play um, I don't know if we use course play it'll actually pick up the straw or the silage off the ground and deliver it we could always set up um, how would you call it waypoint wait point. so start somewhere over there set up a waypoint that we can pick up the silage manually that we can get the um, track to, to continue on sell it come back and then wait again but um yeah so the series is going pretty well too it's been pretty successful on the channel so far so you guys voted for Hawks Bay and that's what you guys have got you guys seem to be um, seem to be pretty happy about it too so can't complain at all how's this guy going he shouldn't have two more runs left um, if we go back to our tractors how fast are these guys? 50. So definitely... Uh, front loader, yes. So we know, sort of need to keep at least... Try and keep 80,000 in the bank so we can get a fent tractor. So we can start... So we won't need a front loader right now, but... I guess that's more long term, isn't it? Front loader. But that'll be good, we need to get a front loader. So if we use the fent... Um, That'll work well. 
allow us to be able to um, load up mixing wagon and that sort of stuff to make the feed we need for the cattle. I don't know if we can sell um, manure, liquid manure. Uh, I don't think so. What's that? That's cotton. That's, I don't know, wood. I don't know, weird. Um, I don't know if we can sell mixed ration. I don't think we can. It'd be good if you could. If you could silage wheat, hay, and make mixed ration. That would actually be um, really good. Especially if it was worth... Um, a lot more safe silage was worth, I don't know, what, 500, $500 per thousand litres? 661? Maybe if total mixed ration was worth maybe 1500 or even 1200 or something like that, would be worth making mixed ration and selling it for a little bit of extra money. Alright, let me go through and check. Um, we need to empty that trailer too. Uh, we haven't got a no, we haven't got a tether yet, so we don't need a tether right now. But we will need a tether eventually. We could probably actually take the harvester um, up to the sill point without having to use the trailer because I think the harvester goes just as fast as the bloody tractor does. Keep an eye on this guy. He shouldn't be too far away, I swear. Let's have a look here. One more run, pretty much. So if we hit H for a hired worker, he can do his thing. We can um, stop you. Good. We might as well just finish this little bit off. We can sort out. Um, actually, we should dump this mower off and we can sort out that trailer. Yeah, sort out the trailer so we can unload our harvester and um, then we'll go and pick up our windrower and get him sorted. Um, with a windrower as well, which is. How what 8.5 meters? So if we go, uh, where are we? Load grass field external. Yep. Course generation. Current vehicle starting position. We'll go uh, north east. We'll go west, and it was 8.5 meters. I think I'll do just eight. There we go. Save. Windrow. Crossing. There we go. Grass. Field. Windrow. Eight meters. I think that'll work. I'm hoping. we should be able to use the same path to collect it as well. Alright, there we go. So we'll take this guy back over to here and throw the mower away and um, might reset him back to the shop to be able to pick up um, that wind rower. It'll be a lot quicker doing it that way. sort of um, slowly starting to come together. Not sure how much that trailer hasn't got much has it? 23,000 litres. That one's only got 12 so. Could certainly do with a bigger trailer but that will come too. 
obviously once we get a little bit more money. So you probably could mow around here too, but that's not um, not urgent right now. We'll sort of wait till later on. So swing into here. I'm just going to dump the mower off. Uh, right here, actually. Let's turn it this way. Uh, we can get the mower in. Get something next to it as well. Maybe the culture player or something. Alright, so we need to... this trailer sorted out. Go and sell what's in the trailer, come back and unload him and then be able to go pick up our windrower. Get our windrower started. Still need to save up a little bit of money to obviously get our house. I don't know where we're going to stay at the moment. Might just have to um, Talk to whoever owns this little boathouse here, I guess. See if we can't um, set up a bed in here or something. If there's enough room, just somewhere for us to stay. Maybe here, maybe actually might be able to hire a room from this little uh, pub, maybe. It's like a pub, restaurant, there might be rooms upstairs we could lease. In a room for a couple of days, couple of weeks, couple of months. How long it takes us to get the money for um, a house? We know the houses are quite dear. 180, 180,000 for a house. So it's going to take us a little while to get one. But we have, we do have a little bit of land as well. So if we need to, we can sell a bit of land later on. But I really, I really don't want to. I really don't want to have to sell any land. So I know this is quite a slow trip, but as I said, I'm going to try and avoid um, try and avoid time lapsing and cutting anything out. For the reasons I said earlier, of course, but um, selling the silage and stuff, we might have to um, look at setting up course play. I think I will set up course by eventually to unload the harvester and that sort of stuff, but at this point in time, um, we really don't need course play because we don't have enough tractors to be doing other things while, while unloading, I suppose. Uh, once all those fields are sort of planted and ready to go, we will, but um, at this point in time, we're so I don't have a spare tractor to set up a course by while we do something else. But yeah. My nose feels really, really weird at the moment. I'm all stuffed up again. I'm all blocked up. It's bloody frustrating. So we'll go on, dump this trailer off over here. Give him somewhere to unload and we'll reset back and grab a windrower. Come back down and set this guy up to start windrowing and hopefully we won't be too far away with our seeding. Actually our seeding is going really quick. It's good. Certainly smashing that out so we'll be able to probably start coming and collect it grass this episode. Have to see how we go. So I did put in um, the, if you have a look at the Holmer, where is it, there it is, the Holmer DLC, which has been released um, today actually, today, the day I'm recording. The Holmer DLC was released, so that's um, it's another thing that I've put into the game, as I said We'll, um, we'll allow ourselves to use DLC and that sort of thing, but um, no mods, no loans, no leasing, that sort of stuff. 
Alright, actually, yeah, it does. Every time you do that at Grass, Windrow. Every time you reset, it resets everything. So that's a little bit frustrating. But, understandable, I suppose. Bump our speed right up. Um, beacon's always on. Not that it matters, because... Um, we don't have any beacons on this tractor. So I have had a few comments, I know, you guys saying that I need to sort of skip this because it's quite, um, quite a slow trip, but hopefully me rambling on all this keeps you guys um, semi-entertained while we're taking this long, slow trip back to our farm area. So um, if you guys have any ideas for long term, uh, long term sort of goals or that sort of stuff, let me know. I know we've had a fair few comments, um, a few comments from people sort of saying we need to go um, dairy, and maybe even sheep, but I think probably try and focus on dairy um, sort of straight away then maybe look at sheep later on. But uh, yeah, a few of you guys have commented that live in New Zealand and said you have um, pretty much all sorts of tractors over there. But as I said, I think we'll probably steer clear of John Deere and that for now because we have a lot of John Deere stuff in the past and um, go with Fent tractors. So we're not far away from the farm, and that guy's not far away from finishing his seeding, so be able to grab that tractor and come over and start collecting some grass. These roads just are not wide enough. Swing in, there we go. We need a bit more room there to swing in, but um, is loaded, uh, field work, start at the first waypoint which is over there, the last one must be down there somewhere, yep there it is. I'm hoping that um, if the straw doesn't get in the way there, if it does that'll be quite annoying. Course, see how it goes. Should go alright, I'm hoping. Just a good little bit inside, um, a few runs here, so let's stop this guy. We'll take over and just get this finished, and then we can um, get to work on. Collecting some grass, I think it's probably our priority over over getting these fields done. It's going to be good to get this tobacco in. It'll be good to get this other field over here ahead of us um, harvested when it's ready to go. But I think getting that grass and that silage into that bunker and getting it covered is probably going to be the most important thing because that's where we're going to make um, most of our money. So I do apologise if, if I'm still sniffling and it's a little bit annoying or I'm breathing heavy. It's just sniffling at the moment. Really heavy breathing because of my bloody nose and face and whatever else blocked up. It's just as frustrating for me as it is for you guys, I'm thinking. Might have to take a... Um, hay fever tablet, I would say. 
Right, so we need to um, culti play out this field as well. Uh, if we go back, as you can see, there you go, culti play out that field as well. Be able to set that up um, with course play to get all that sorted. Wait for this guy to go through because he's a little bit quicker than us, I think. A little bit lot quicker than us. Uh, actually, not too much quicker. Probably had a couple of k's quicker, I'd say. Right, so we'll swing. Swing you into here and drop you off. I could set up a course play as well, um, if I remember how to. Um, to get um, grass field windrow. Selected and then also add to it the ability to, to tip it off. Which what is that guy doing? Um, which we could do, but might take a, a little bit of time to sort of work out how to do it again because it's been quite some time since I've used course play. All right, so let's um, start picking up some grass. No idea what that guy's doing. I have to go and fix him up. I think. I think he's just uh, some of our workers are. He's on crack. He's on some some sort of drug which he shouldn't be on. That's um. Set him up to go. So we might as well go to the other end of the field. Come back down. I don't know why. Started him there. But it goes up and then comes back down and then starts going. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure where this is going to go. If this doesn't work using the course play like it is, I'm going to have to do it manually. And, um,. Record the course, but then get the worker to do it from there. It's quite strange that it's um doing it that way. Right, just making sure it's harvested, so it'll start growing again eventually. All right, so we'll swing around and. Start picking up this grass. So we start turning into some silage. Might uh, zoom in for a bit of a screenshot. There we go. Don't know how he's going to go at the other end. Don't think it's going to work. seems to be doing reverse donuts which is very strange <laughs> I don't know why um, pathfinding I think there was I thought there was headland. Field centre. Oh, I don't know what that means. Um, Alright. What we might do is I might move him out of the way. We'll have to start a course recording and just do it ourselves, I think. Back into here. We'll do it ourselves, and then we can um, we can uh, 
can set up a well, record a course and then get this guy to follow once it's done so but some um, time has just gone off so what I'll oh, wrong button what I'll do is I'll tip this off um, we'll end the episode here and um, hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did as always smash that like button leave a comment let me know what you think of the series so far uh, if you're new to the channel and haven't subscribed yet guys please do so it's been pretty thanks for watching See you again soon.